Yes, I know, I did a video kind of playing fun at all the celebrations video, and today we're doing a celebrations video. I mean, it's kind of a celebrations video. Um, it is the GameStop or EB Games exclusive. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. And yeah, there's celebrations packs and there's other packs, but I wanted to show you this. I just got in the mail. This is the V Memories, uh, Lance's Charizard and Sylveon collection. So it's kind of a cool box, obviously because there's Charizard on it, but um, it's it's kind of neat. The coin is a little whoopsie-doo and it kind of fell down behind here, but that's okay. And it's Sylveon, who doesn't like an evolution? So yeah, my last video, I opened up the Team Skull Grunt collection box and I'm gonna link you at the end of this video you're gonna want to go check that one out because it is a pretty cool box it's from 2017 so it's a it's a four-year-old uh, collection box it's kind of neat so I'm not gonna read this out here but we have a dark Pokemon and owners Pokemon a nice little story there so you can pause that if you would like to read it and this is a nice little collection so in Canada uh, it is still currently EB games but it is in the transition to be named GameStop. So the website is now GameStop.ca um, and all the signage probably in the next little while, I would imagine before the end of this year, it's all gonna be switched over to GameStop. So EB Games will be no more and all those EB Games promo cards that I have are gonna be pretty special, I guess. So anyways, there is a Sylveon uh, car or pin. We've got six celebrations booster packs which is pretty cool i still need a lot from the um uh classic collection we got a battle styles and a darkness ablaze so that's good a gigantic charizard coin i love this coin i love it look at the little the grid pattern sparkle it's about this the, the palm of your hand so it's a big coin and it looks like he's just he's ripping right through that coin so that's pretty cool and then we've got some plastic we got the jumbo so you only get you only get the Lance's Charizard Jumbo. So for me, as an example, I do not have the Sylveon V on order. I have not opened it. Um, and I don't know if I will or not, because I think the only thing I would be missing is this actual Jumbo card um, of the Sylveon. So I, we'll see. If I see it in stores, I might I might find something. We'll, 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 we'll see what we can do. And then we have got a couple promo cards. So we have the Lance's Charizard, well, mostly well-centered. Lance's Charizard. That is Sword and Shield 133. That is a pretty cool looking card. And then we have got the Dark Sylveon V. Looking the wrong way. That is pretty cool. Tricky Ribbon and Disarming Voice. And that is Sword and Shield 134. And I'm going to use the Sylveon, uh, Sylveon sleeve there. That's perfect. And just interesting, for the code card, normally uh, any of the code cards that are in boxes are white code cards, and this one is not. This is a green code card, so it's interesting. They're changing changing it up or something. I, I'm, I don't know. So we're gonna crack into these packs here. We're gonna start with the battle styles just to get the battle styles out of the way. Not my favorite um, set from the Sword and Shield era, but it is still a set of Pokemon cards, and I'm happy to open up any Pokemon card. I need a lot from the set. I, I truly did not open up much at all from the set. Level Ball, Hone Edge, Gligar, Electabuzz, Bellsprout. Bronzor, we've got a Cheryl or Cheryl reverse, and an Aegislash non-holographic. So I kind of figured that that's the way we would be starting, but that is okay. There is a code card. Let's get into some celebrations. I am hoping for uh, Umbreon Gold Star, or I do need uh, the Blastoise and Venusaur still. Um, I am curious to see how many packs it does take me to complete the set. Zekrom, we've got a Dialga. Evelt also, nothing there, and a Professor's Research. So we kind of struck out on that first pack, and that that's okay. That's okay. Because, again, it's it's. Uh, I think I've, I've seen some odds come out where it's one in every 2.5 packs you get a classic collection card. So hopefully that holds true. Hopefully we can get three out of the six packs. More likely we're going to get two, but Lugia, we've got a Ho-Oh. And a surfing Pikachu V worth about a dollar. And I, this set is, uh, I mean, at the time of recording this video, um, the cards have just plummeted in value. It, it, I mean, they didn't make it difficult to get, you know, all the cards. There's some of them that are harder than others, which makes sense. 
but for the most part it's a pretty easy set to complete in about a hundred packs or so which is good i mean pokemon wants you to collect them all and that's what we're gonna do cosmoum we've got a lugia and another ho-oh so we have still yet to get anything good so that's actually it's actually pretty disappointing in those three packs let's get into this darkness ablaze let's see if we can not pull that charizard v max it might happen one day but i don't know if it will be today oh wow that's uh, interesting i just pulled off a code card and i have another code card that's weird two code cards in that well now i'm very confused because i see a green code card and a white code card so in this pack what what's it gonna be uh did i do the card trick already i did i did do the card trick so that's interesting i'm curious if it does feel thick i'm curious to how many cards are in here so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and count so we've got a Popitar, Zuelius, Fletchlander, so that's three cards, Feebas, Purloin, Hip Hop Anonymous, I'm, I've lost count, six, maybe, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine, ten, yeah, so that's the right amount of cards, okay, Marini, Reverse, and we've got a non-holographic Swana, so, hey, I guess the good news is, is you get two code cards, everybody, look at that, two Darkness of Blaze code cards, for the price of one weird that's a that's weird okay let's get into the celebrations now we got three packs remaining and we have got zero classic uh pack of cards so far so i don't think we're gonna get three maybe if we're lucky we'll get two here ho oh, oh we've got a groudon and a reshiram nothing there and a mew so another kind of dud pack i mean the mew is at least i think the best hollow you can get Maybe worth a dollar, but by the time this video goes out, probably not. Um, hmm. Well, we have not had the luck in this pack opening just yet. Hopefully we can get something good here. Cosmog. We have got a Xerneas. A whole lot of nothing here, too. And okay. All right. All right. I needed this one. There are five cards I need from the main set, and Professor's Research is one of them. So I am happy with that. It's, again, probably not going to be worth a heck of a lot but it is something something I needed, so there we go. There is Professor's Research. All right, we are getting into the last pack here. Let's hope for something from the Classic Collection, because if we went 0 for 6, it would be pretty much a bummer. Uh, but I guess that could happen. That is the risk of Pokemon cards. Kyogre, we have got a Rocket Zapdos. Too bad I have it, but I am happy to get a Rocket Zapdos and a Lunala. So, you know what? We we got we got another one. Well, that Rocket Zapdos, it is a beautiful card. I'm sure it's not going to be worth a heck of a lot by the time this video even comes out. But that is it. Please hit a like on this video if you could, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye for now.